Hi, Insta friends. Welcome to a gab about some stuff. Welcome to my anniversary gab. Welcome to a celebration of 52 weeks of the gab. Uh, so you might gather that this is the anniversary of the gabs. One year ago this week, I started my first little informal chat with anybody who was interested in listening and um, at the time I was watching a lot of uh, videos on Instagram and YouTube that started with highly requested highly requested but we never knew who all of these people were who are requesting these videos and nobody was requesting videos from me but you know what I wanted to just start making videos uh, so I did so I started posting my wholly unsolicited completely unrequested um, videos out there and um, it's just been a blast it's been a hoot I've gotten to know so many of you through the posts and everything like that so I did want to say thank you for engaging with me and chatting back and um, responding and sending me your feedback and thoughts and suggestions and ideas it's just been great um, so without further ado let's get into the topic of today's video which is a haul I do want to preface the haul, more prefacing, I do want to preface this by saying that I don't typically do hauls and uh, you should not expect more hauls coming from me, not luxury hauls anyway. Uh, typically it does take me a little while to save up to buy luxury so it's rare that I buy more than one item at a time. Um, but. I ended up getting these items for some very specific reasons. The timing just worked out right. So I have three Louis Vuitton items to um, reveal and share. And uh, I was able to purchase them because they were on my wish list for my birthday. And I'd started already, my birthday's at the end of October, by the way, but I'm a planner. So I'd already started thinking about what in my closet I wasn't loving, what I could probably sell, where I could save, you know, and things like that. So there were things that I'd already kind of been wanting and thinking about since maybe July. Um, and then my essay from Louis Vuitton sent me a text that said that um, Massachusetts was having its tax holiday, which is a weekend in August where we don't have to pay taxes on anything below a certain price point. And so I wasn't thinking, wow, let me save on tax, which around here is only about 6%, under 7%, like 6 point something. Like, that's not a good sale. <laughs> like, if I were walking down the street and there was a window that had an advertisement for a sale and it said save 6%, I would not be running in to spend money, right? That's not savings. Um, but since there were things that I'd already wanted, and I already sold a couple of items to a couple of you. Um, I had a little cash line around, so I just went ahead and got them. Does this mean I'm not getting birthday presents? No, it does not, just in case you were curious. So let's put that question to bed. Uh, there'll be other things and probably I will buy them and want them. So <laughs> without further ado though, here's what I got um, mostly from Tax Free Weekend. I'm just gonna go through them in no particular order and they will each get their own gab, so don't worry about that but this gab will just be kind of a general haul so the first item i mean like i said everything is from Vuitton. the first item is in this box here and i just think um unboxings take a whole long time and you gotta find scissors and people are waving scissors around and things like that and i'm always like oh, just tell me what's in the box just tell me just tell me so i'm just gonna tell you what's in the box what you got in the box what you got in the box the first is this little item here it is from louis vuitton and i'll take it out of its dust bag to reveal Ta -da. what do you think fam this is the petite sac flat from louis vuitton it is a brand new item i believe it released um at the end of july or middle of august and um yeah, it sold out pretty quickly, but one of my Insta friends, um, I told everybody on Instagram actually that I was looking for this item and um, when I asked my SA about the tax holiday if I could purchase it through this, uh, she did tell me that I probably couldn't because the item had to be in stock at the time that I ordered and it wasn't in stock at the time that I was getting ready to order. So it was unlikely I was going to be able to match up that weekend with when I ordered it. So the weekend is a Saturday and a Sunday, like midnight to midnight. And I was at home minding my business and I got 
a message just as I was about to uh, actually lay down for a nap from one of my Insta friends um, telling me that it showed up available on the website and it was a Thursday. Was I going to wait on the weekend and hope that I could find it? No ma'am, I was not. So I purchased it. Um, so I didn't actually save the 6% tax, but I'm fine with that. Um, this is exactly one of the things that was on my wish list that I asked um, the essay about potentially getting. Uh, so I was just happy to have it. And there's a whole drama and saga around this that I will discuss when I do the individual gab about it. But for now, meet this uh, cutie. Should I put it back in its dust bag or display it somehow? I'm just gonna put it down. The second item we have is in, ooh, also a little bit, wow, it's a little heavier. And it comes in this box, and you'll probably guess what it is if you are familiar with the Louis Vuitton packaging, as it is a draw out box. Um, I have not worn any of these items. They've all just arrived in the last like 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. Um, but this is a pair of loafers, Louis Vuitton loafers. And I had shared on my um, Instagram that I was eyeing those loafers. So, have been in my stories or chatted with me know that I've been eyeing these so when the opportunity came to get them I actually waited till the 11th hour because I wasn't completely sure because I'd already picked up the bag I'd already picked up another thing the other thing I'm about to show you and I kind of was like spendy spendy girl but you know it's something I wanted I wanted to try it um, and it was already on my list from before so I thought, let me just get it. And you know, if I have buyer's regret, it can always go back, but I'd be bummed out if I decided next week that I wanted it and then ended up buying it without the benefit of the savings. So I got it, super glad I got it. And uh, this is my second item. So doo -doo 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 -doo. let me know what you think. I know loafers aren't for everybody, so that's totally fine, um, but they're kind of my my speed and I think technically that's a car shoe doesn't matter and then this is the last item just moving right through without a bunch of fuss and muss because I know we all just want to know what's in the box what's in the box last box um it's an item also ordered for tax free weekend and it's in this this bag here um and let's have the box shut Ta -ta. Whoa, it is the artsy pouch, the toiletry pouch 26 in the artsy print, which is a limited edition release like also this summer. Um, I like the artsy print, but I do think it's a little bit more than I would want in a bag. It's cute in like the speedy and actually somebody just sent me a picture of themselves trying on the on the goto and it was cute so i guess i just think it's cute <laughs> anyway um but i wasn't prepared to be all in all in like bag style all in um so i thought about either getting the shawl or this the shawl was not available this was not available online but my essay was able to order it for me she um was able to find it and i think it came from like texas or something so that's it um this is the toiletry pouch and You've probably seen it around. My biggest concern about this is that the inside is white and I do use my pouches for toiletries. So we'll see how we get on and I'll talk more about it in its individual gab. And I will also compare it to my regular toiletry pouch 26 and um, just kind of do a little, you know, comparison, see if they're different in any way. Uh, but I'm not prepared to do that just now so and I don't want to make this video 20 million years long so yeah that's it those are the items that I picked up for the tax holiday or around the tax holiday um, my first and probably only luxury haul ever I hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts if you have a preference um, as to what order I do gabs about these items um, shout them out let me know otherwise I'll just go in whatever order hmm, I don't know that I want um, I know the toiletry pouch is limited edition and people might not be able to get it for a while so maybe I'll start with that but then also I know that folks are really curious about the petite sac plat and what fits and all that so let me know if you have a preference and um, if you are a loafer lover hey fellow lo um, loafer lover then let me know that as well all right insta fam stay well peace yeah back